Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4! Last time, we got a new mission that'll take us back to Monson, so let's head on over there then. You can tell it's Monson because there's a little crack in the southeast corner of the village there for some reason. Well, I mean, they had earthquakes and stuff, so I guess it's not a totally bad reason. But anyway... Ah, okay. But anyway, let's see, they were saying something about the earthquakes around here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what's wrong with that? Oh, nice. He must have Bailey blood in him. Well, I suppose... No, that would actually probably be worse than sticking your finger into an electric socket. Or at least as bad. Nuts. Well, I was going to say, why didn't you try to rescue him? Oh. Well, okay, I can take care of that for you. How did you even get a message all the way over to Ido? That's like way far away from here. But anyway, okay, I can handle it. Wouldn't be the first black hole that I've encountered, but anyway, once you talk to her, the sign goes away for some reason, and we can climb on down. Well, I would imagine they'd be everywhere, considering, you know, they have earthquakes, or have had earthquakes all around here. Well, evidently under the earth. But anyway, one thing I want to do to change my setup I want to equip the ceramic shield on Rika there to make her attack fire elemental, because pretty much everything around here is going to be weak to that. Now to the left there, there's some stairs that take you out of this place. So if you ran out of tech points, you would be able to get out of here still, but that shouldn't happen. This is a very, very small dungeon. Nuts. By the way, the enemies I just met up with are those Zal slugs. The ones that we met up with back at the passageway, if I recall correctly. And those guys, and well, pretty much every enemy around here, is weak, not only weak to fire, but they're also weak to water. So Rim can deal a little more damage that way, too. Well, well, it's one of those slugs that we've been beating up all around here. So this one seems to be a bit bigger than the rest of them. For boss time against the frack dudes. Okay, now this guy, let's see, let's go. I don't know if this will help, but I'm gonna use it anyway. The bond there to boost my defense there. That's pretty much all we got for buffs. Rune should be using Gawat every round. And Chaz, I'm gonna go with a good cross cut. But yeah, just like all the other enemies here, we can fire and water. Ow, quit it. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Hmm. I was thinking if I wanted to use Sanair, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Rika's already fast enough as it is, as far as any healing needs that I might have. So, yeah, I don't need to, like, boost the speed of my party members so we could actually be fast enough to heal. Nah, nah, we'll be fine. This guy's not that bad. I'm not even worried about using any debuffs or anything. Not that I really have many options, but you could, I guess. Okay, let's see. Rika, why don't you get that going? Oh, I hope I kill him before I run out of crosscuts. This guy doesn't have too much HP. Yeah, we'll be fine. And, yeah, let's just go all out this time around. Before it's too late! Hey, hey! All right. Well, easy enough. Wow! Look at that experience. Hey, hey! All right. Finally, some multi-targeted healing. That's basically about as strong as a red spell, but it hits all your party members. Unfortunately, it also costs a lot more, too. So, it's still good. You need to have some multi-targeted healing at some point. But they do make you pay through the nose for it. Do we get anything new for you? No. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, at least the guy decided to 
Swallow you whole? Ah. Yeah, I suppose. Don't do that again. Don't go wandering off looking for strange holes. Oh, you're welcome. As long as you give me a hefty paycheck, that's all good. Hey, stop running around so quickly. You might get us into a random encounter immediately after the cutscene that way. Yeah. But anyway, okay, let's get out of here. Well, I didn't realize we were going to get taken that far away from the village. Well, it wasn't that far, but still. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea as a responsible parent. All right. I don't have anything to buy with it right now, but things are going to get much more expensive in the near future. Well, it didn't work out too well for you, did it? Ha ha. Okay, well, we're all done here. So let's... Oh, no, I don't want that. But I do want to go back to Ido to pick up my reward and... Well, you know, I was just about to say I wanted to go back home and rest up, but they have that one healing point at the spaceport anyway, which is where I'm going to be going next. That's pretty much all the side quests that we can do at this point. We're not going to get any more here for quite some time. Kind of strange how they distribute them throughout the plot of the game and everything. Thank you. Do you guys, like, get a cut of it? Or is that just every We just get it all and you guys just, I don't know, delegate or something. But anyway, okay, we're done here. Let's go back to Kadai. That's about as close as we can get to the spaceport. Get everything recharged and... Well, we gotta go to, what was that, the, yeah, the satellite there, Zalan. Kind of weird rings you got around the whole system there. But then I suppose they did have Parma explode. That would be a problem. Probably left asteroid belts everywhere or something. Ah, looks like something out of the second game. Any number of random enemies. Alright, let's take a look around. I like the outer space background they got there, which, well, yeah, makes sense, obviously. But first thing I want to do, let's get some more treasure. Don't need the dagger. The claw is really good, though. And so is the sword. So let's grab that. Make it a, yeah, a little better on the attack and defense there. And Rika, yeah, we don't need the laser claw anymore. We got the two plasma claws. But you still want to hold on to the ceramic shield for later. Because we're going to run into quite a few enemies that are still weak to fire. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. Hmm, well, I don't have Demi anymore to equip that sort of thing. I think plasma field is a kind of shield, but I never use it. You know, let me check that with Rune. Okay, you can't even equip it, so yeah, there's no point. I wouldn't use shields on a melee fighter. Hey, how's it going? Huh? Yeah, I suppose. He doesn't really look that big, but... I don't know, maybe it's just the angle. Well, okay, can we put a stop to it? self-destruct or blow it up or something at last we meet for the first time for the last time yeah I guess Ren kind of looks bulky but I don't know that he looks tall so I guess it's kind of hard to tell yeah we kick ass and take names together Yeah, can you help us out, or have you been slacking on the job? 
Ah. Yeah, things are still not doing too good. Ah. Nice. Yeah, what's going on? Well, shouldn't that be good? I got another one. How many of these satellites do we got around here anyhow? Hmm. I wonder if that was Zeo. But he's gone now. So whoever he hired wouldn't be on the payroll anymore. Oh. Ah, well, that would explain. Well, okay, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so it's not this satellite, we just go to the other one. That should be easy to fix. How hard could it possibly be? Don't you have... I don't know, any spacecraft around here? I mean, it would seem like a really bad idea to put an android here for centuries and don't even give them a way to, I don't know, get outside or fly or go somewhere to check on things. It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Oh, okay. I thought it was just C, but okay. Oh, well, C's kind of gone. So, you don't have any obligations. Yeah, now that Alice is gone, I'm the one in charge. Even though you're still going to be sitting in the rear, using the rest of us as human shields... Or human shield carriers. But anyway, alright. More party members with Ren. And unlike Demi, he actually has the defense to back him up. And a lot more HP. But he's basically an android just like her. So he regenerates HP as you walk around and stuff like that. He also has a lot of the same skills that Demi had. So we're definitely putting him at the front lines there. And let's see, as far as his abilities go... Oh, nope, wrong character. But yeah, he has... Game? He has the barrier, spark, recover, all that good stuff. Flare is essentially a an energy-based attack, and it's pretty much going to be better than every single targeting... It's a single targeting skill, and it's pretty much going to be dealing more damage than any single targeting weapon you'd ever get from him, at least as far as I know. So, I actually want to equip him with the Pulse Laser, because that one hits all enemies. The Plasma Rifle only hits one. And basically, I'm just going to have him use the Pulse Laser, or whatever I just equipped on him. Just have him use that to hit all enemies. If I'm only fighting one, then I'll just use the flare. And let's see, everyone is at fault, so we're good to go. Wouldn't it have been a better idea to have these satellites orbiting the planets that they are running? I mean, they're kind of way out of the way, you know? Ah. Well, this ship is a thousand years old. Maybe something broke down or something. So, you know how to fix the problem, Ren. Right? Whoa! Well, if someone tries to kill you, you try and kill them right back. For boss time! Against the Chaos Sorcerer from the first game. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go with a barrier to help against magical attacks. 
Hmm. Let's see. I don't think this guy is too... No, actually, he is really fast. Okay. Yeah, let's go with Sanair then so we can get a little faster there. He has no weakness to Watt or Foy or anything, so just go with the Watt. You could use Gethu on him since he's weak to it. That's the only element he's... Well, not the only one. The only one we can exploit. But, let's see. The crosscut, that deals more damage anyway. Unfortunately, his multi-targeting attacks aren't nearly as powerful as they were for Zia there. Okay, so now we got the buffs gone. Just get a little more damage in there, and I think we'll be able to get him in this round. Got him. Yeah, fortunately, he's not nearly as hard as he was in the first game. Holy cow, those guys would kick my ass all the time. Oh, hey, hey, another spell that I'll never use. That's one of those instant death ones that I think Grizz has that. But yeah, it just costs way too much to be worthwhile or anything. I didn't... I didn't have anyone using thunder or any other text that could cause this kind of damage. Ow. Oh. Nuts. But we weren't in orbit anyway. We didn't really get much of anywhere, actually. Well, I guess we don't have much of a choice. Do you have an ejector seat or anything remotely useful? Can we survive? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 4. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. And they died.